She would roll that in for birdie. She would make a birdie at seven and another at eight. That's and then at nine. Three in a row. Pretty solid. Yuka Sasso, second at the 10th. You see she's tied for fifth. You can see how fine of a line that players have to take. Um, that one literally just carrying over the bunker, but... And another great test as we watch world number one Nelly Korda pour in a bogey putt at 14. Far, uh, farther away from that eighth spot, 11. Stephanie Meadow for her first birdie of the day, and she needs a few birdies if she's going to try and get into the match play. Four over par on the front nine. Difficult holes today. And Rose bouncing back with a birdie at seven, which is the par five. And that just needs to put the brakes on a little bit. Yeah, she's going to be okay there. Going to have a good chance to make a birdie. Say Young had a share of the lead. Coming into this third round. And like you said, she played the break on the green. Play, played for the banks. And I think, you know, that's what caused some issues. Way down below the level of the putting green here. Yuka Sasso trying to... Set the 13th and Lydia Ko for a birdie. So we get her to two over par and would still be a few shots outside of that top eight but Lydia has a chance I think she's going to need to make a few birdies maybe two two or three birdies coming in tough to tell where that at the 11th and the third shot for Naren on yeah. the flag. oh that's a bonus there that's that is so... a bonus <laughs> you could say so this would be a good Par here. Oh, needed needed some of that Naradan speed coming down the hill. So that's going to drop her to one under par. Brooke Henderson for birdie at the twelfth. Oh, Karen, you don't get a lot of great chances around here. No, you don't. That's a little one get away for sure. I, I can't really blame her for that one because that green feels like it has to move to the left on that side. Rose for a three. Rose comfortably inside the number at the moment. Nine holes to go, though. How comfortable can you be? Stephanie Meadow is going to take her back to her days growing up in Northern Ireland, playing some winter golf in the breeze. It just needs to settle. It's so difficult, Karen, to get it close. It is with the, with the front hole location, down with, uh, with the wind. I think that's, that's into the wind, though, isn't it? Just kind of floats away. Oh, that's such a good shot. Oh, I can imagine there hasn't been many closer than that. That's top class golf there. She was 10 off the lead after round one, and now she's one back. And maybe not for long. these conditions this is a player that's going to relish the match play just needs to get there first this one goes in will make the task even easier she can't believe she's left it short so Maguire will have that and Maguire to save her four he should be happy to walk away with the four here after missing the fairway yeah
couple of good opportunities. Last couple of holes for Brook. One over good enough, do you think? Yeah. Here's Minami Katsu for a birdie. It's her second year on the LPGA Tour. All right, Na Rin on to tie the lead at 12. Say then. Yes, walks it in. How uh, far back did she take the putter? Not very far at all. <laughs> this is the second shot for Carlota, I uh, beg your pardon, third for Carlota oh, Saganda. Oh, no. Karen, it has gone, as you would say, pear-shaped today for Carlota. It has. And, um, you know, she's another one of those players that played early yesterday, didn't play in the, in the thick of the... Yesterday, unbelievable. Third for Nelly. Oh, that ball was sitting down but an uphill lie and she really played that we saw rose come up short right at 10 pitch to this point this to stay three under par feels like a birdie doesn't it? that has some really windy tough conditions too high wind on saturday and then the rain on sunday and nelly has beaten every player and mother nature as well That's she's a huge. tough cookie. That is so big for Nelly. Well, when you think about the, the weather that she's won in these past couple of weeks. This is Sasso's third at 13. I wonder if it plugged in the bunker. I think it did with the way that she played that. Yeah, I think it was kind of Still plugged gonna... up on the face. Wow. And so there was that back-to-back -back really poor lies by, for Sasso after the poor tee shots. Meanwhile, at the 12, Leona McGuire to take the lead outright. All right. Took a little bit of the break out of it. This is the double bogey putt here for Yuka. So this to fall back to one over. Angel Yim, one of the bigger hitters on the LPGA Tour. She's hit the driver down there, and this is where it finished. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> what great hands. Rosang came out of the bunker to here. This for a par. So Rose is going to fall back to two under. The Chevron Championship. I don't know if running is a good no. thing there when you, but maybe they're a little behind. Of course, she lost in a playoff at uh, Chevron. Now, Maguire chipping at 13. Angel Yin. Yeah, well done. Since so she's playing better now than she was before she had the injury. Had a good week on the Ladies' European Tour in Saudi Arabia, finished tied for third. That's her best worldwide finish of the year so far. This one's tracking. Oh. That hole's into the wind, isn't it? It is, yeah. It does it swirl, though. Blow, maybe. Huh? Well, yeah, I don't That's know. That's too far away. Yeah, isn't it? too far. Far putt here for Maguire. Yeah, well done. You might not want to go out and hit too many balls in these conditions. Probably not. No. By far the easiest of the three in her group. I think it's going to end up down the bottom level. Look at that. Just how fine of a line it is and how close the, the flag is to but that helped rose zhang at 12. same spot yesterday and karen, nice. she's gonna have a great chance yep, very nice over at the six this is a bogey putt for moria jatanagarn that is massive that keeps her chances. She might even make a trip to Augusta. Oh, Angel. 
She's back and she's in mid-season form in her 2024 debut. Out of the rough, onto the green at 12. This for birdie. It's quite a little wind gust there as she hit that. Fourteenth playing long, back into the wind. It's playing 430 yards into the wind. That's a heck of a good shot there. She's going to drop to plus three if she makes that and outside the top eight. Rosang, meanwhile, at 13. Just trying to flight that one down. You can see from the low follow through. Oh, oh what a shot. One of the best. Rose Zhang. Oh, she's feeling. Se Young Kim tied for third. This is at the 14th for Birdie. Oh, oh yes, stealing one. Would it have helped her to see Katsu's putt right before that? I think that? so. Certainly for the speed. Comebacker for Katsu for par at 14. Okay. That's digging deep. Leona at 14 for par. Oh, wow. Aggressive off the tee. Popular spot players just not willing. Yukasaso is trying to stay right on that top eight cut line and at the toughest hole, the 15th, where there have been no birdies today. Narin on for par. Why well, she has gotten a couple of fortunate bounces. You're living right on that razor's edge at Shadow Creek. Here is Rose Zhang after a birdie. Second shot at 14. It's going to head down to that lower level. Minami Katsu with her third. You see why everyone misses it over there. Is it like Vegas years? It's like cat <laughs> years, Vegas, Vegas hours? Yeah, no clocks in Vegas, so it's hard to even know. Right. He's going to be in. Katsu not guaranteed a spot yet. That will help. She's been pretty clutch. Likes the challenge of it. And if you can be that person, you have such an advantage over everybody else. We're back at the 16th, and this is Sasso. Yeah, just eight paces short at the front of the green. Easy little pitch shot, really. Now a seven-footer for birdie. Oh, she, she pushed it, and it moves that way. That's a shame, because it just, I mean, she's on that eight in that eighth spot right now but things get really tight back to 16 and katsu's third yeah 141 yards to the front of the green got a little bank on the left side that she could use safe miss is left short let it run in and that is a really good shot from where she was into the breeze and off the tee just how tom drew it up so here is her fourth at the 15th That's very wow. well done, too. Birdie's no guarantee by any means at 18. Rose, 15 for bogey. Good bye, Rose. Go. Give herself a little bit more of a cushion. Yeah, it's really well done. Having mm. driven it in the bunker, it's a good four, that. Tom, at your club, Walton Heath, she was in great position. 
But it looks like she's going to play the weekend here. Yuka for par at 17. And with her power, mm -hmm. the reachable 18th, a birdie would knock out at the 17th, Manami Katsu. This is a wedge for Manami. You know, if there's one shot that can go wrong, this is it. This is a little bit right. It needs to get up. Oh, my goodness. How about this? Maybe. Wow. Two under. Now, Leona. It's a very good line for Maguire. Is it the right distance? Yep. <laughs> Maybe the two best we've seen all day. No, you're right with that. It's just being target orientated and just sticking to the distance that you want to hit it. Like, it just requires a lot of discipline. It was a really, I say, lucky bounce. I mean, you can pitch it right at the hole. Good two for her there. You can pitch it right at the hole and get a, a good bounce down. That's a way to play it. But, you know, it was, it was fortunate and uh, she took full advantage of the good luck there. Yes, mm -hmm. just what she had to have to keep hope alive to make it to the weekend. But go ahead and take care here. Fourth shot. Not too far. Mm. Bit of an awkward start, I think. All right, the birdie pitch for Yuka. Pretty level chip with right to left break. All right, this means that we're going to have a playoff. All those plus twos are breathing a sigh of relief right now. She'll play in the quarterfinals. Now Yuka makes it four players at two over. And this is for? This is for an eagle. But that. Down the hill. It just looks so focused. I mean, she loves match play. And she is just going to relish this weekend. You play her heart out, have a week off, and then a major championship. It's like a dream scenario, I would think, for Leona in terms of her confidence. This is for Bogey, actually. Okay, it's a Bogey. She was fighting that that a little bit. You can see she she almost tried to give it a little bit more to the left at the last. Yep. Well, that was a pretty stellar finish from Katsu when she was uh, under pressure to get into the match play. Up and down to finish with three straight birdies. She was a bit unfortunate with the third shot that ran through to that spot, and that is a lovely little touch, and it should be a birdie for Katsu. This is the third shot for Angel Ian. Take a look at her score. She's two under. Her caddy, Marcus Eggman, told an official as they were making their way up the 18th that they actually made par at the fifth hole, not a birdie. So thankfully, she's got to be well inside the top eight. She could affect the seedings here. Yes, she really could. You can see how much easier it is from that side. Wow. Yeah. Really well done. At least we think. We're going to yeah. double check all of these scores, as Angel just reminded us that uh, I mean, it seems they were one off. So Katsu is the two seed. Two good rounds of golf in the toughest conditions for Rose Zhang the last two days. Powerful ball striker, taking that high along the corner. That should be nice. I'd say it's probably a high 50s, but it's not too bad. This one down the left might run out of room on that line. Gonna hang on or just run into that rough? Just, just yeah. 
in the rough, but you can still see a lot of the ball. This one looks pretty good, high down the middle. Yeah, and it's, good. it's important because anything on the fairway gives you somewhat of an advantage. To the left edge of that fairway bunker in the distance. Also going with fairway wood, a nice high controlled fade, beautiful looking shot. She'll take that one all day long, twice on Sundays. That's fabulous. What a shot. There are able to come in with this nine iron. Such an advantage. Is this a repeat it, of what she did in it regulation? Is. Very similar. Just got under those trees and it will release nicely up the green. That is a wonderful shot from Brooke Henderson. It is this absolutely oh. magic. Wow. That was tracking. This one's starting down the left, but she likes it. It's going to carry the trouble. Yep. Almost to that run-up area. Yep. Makes a big difference with the, without that, that gale. This one looks pretty good. Gonna find the fairway, kick down into the middle of the fairway, I would think. Nice escape from Moria on the 10th after missing the fairway. This looks like a fairway wood. The lofted fairway wood pulled it with a draw, heading towards the left trees. Oh, she got away with it, but she's going to have a, a ball below her feet and in the rough. The front of the green, leaving her a long par putt. Oh, the stab and trundle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I like hitting first, Tom, because she can apply the pressure right here. <laughs> oh, an uphill putt, which is good. And so now the players think it's a pretty good shot. Sasso wasting no time and, and actually doing a great job digging it out of that awful lie. Big high shot. That is so good. Just left of it. And will it be enough to get up? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. The best of the bunch. Mm -hmm. Speed and and break. Hit it very softly. Whoa. Yeah. Moria is in with Birdie and the pressure shifts to Brooke.